Mr. Desai is an entrepreneur. Now he wants to set up a silk mill, and for this he requires rupees thirty lakh to invest. However, he does not have that much money with him. He has only twenty lakh. So this means that he requires ten more lakh. Now what he does is, he decides to raise this money in small parts from people who are interested in that business. So let's say that he divides ten lakh rupees into ten thousand parts, and each part is of rupees hundred, right? So in this case, what did he do? He divided a big amount of money into a large number of smaller parts. These smaller parts are known as shares, and all the people who purchase the shares of this mill, they are called shareholders. Now a share can have any value. Let's say rupees five, rupees ten, twenty, twenty-five, fifty, hundred, five hundred, or more. Now, in this case, the value of each share is yes, rupees hundred. So, by combining these small amounts from all the shareholders, Mr. Desai can now commence work on his silk mill. Now, at the end of the year, when Mr. Desai got a profit, he decided to distribute the profit among the shareholders. in proportion of their investments this profit is known as dividend now dividend is always calculated as the percentage of the face value of a share so this means that if he pays the dividend at 5% then each shareholder will get rupees 5 as a profit this means that rupees 5 is the income of a shareholder on one share for one year so i can also define dividend as the profit of the shareholders from the investments in the company so this was about the concept of shares and dividends it's a pretty simple concept you just need to apply the concept of ratio and proportion and trust me you will sail through